Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a prototype copy of Scribbletown, a city building roll and write game by Desultory that I'm going to unbox for you all. Scribbletown can be played with any number of players simultaneously as all players use the same dice results but may take different decisions on how they apply those results to their city. Players will be drawing different icons on each hex on their board and these icons will represent the neighborhoods, businesses, factories, farms, parks, and each game there are six unique buildings that can be built to give you bonus points in each player's city. Each type of building that you build will score points differently. And many depend on being connected to each other, either touching each other or being connected by a road. There is a die for buildings and one for roads, and while you construct your roads, you can apply two on the same hex except if the roads cross each other. Each game is made different as there is a set of those special buildings that are randomly chosen each game, and those usually score you the big points. But the special buildings will also guide players with a strategy and get their city off the ground. Everything isn't fun and games in Scribbletown. You must be careful, as certain types of roads and buildings generate waste, and when you get too wasteful, an opponent will be able to choose any empty hex on your board, even that one that you are planning to place a specific building onto to form a special building to score you those big points that you wanted. Each junk space is a wasted space and can hinder your plans. And because any number of players can play Scribbletown, it's a great thinky filler game that plays in 30 minutes. But it also has a ton of heavy trade-offs without a lot of setup or teardown time. So grab your family and friends and scribble all over each player's city in Scribbletown by Desultory. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.